Welcome in, Scorpios. It's your girl. You should the biggest of the biggest. Your big ocean. And today we are going to be doing a weird ass energy reading, seeing what this weird ass energy is that you could be feeling. Um. Something saying like you could be feeling tingling sensations in your toes, in your feet, in your hands, um, ringing in your ears, um, I don't know, itchy ears, I'm feeling, um, yeah, itchy ears, something like your nose constantly itching or you kind of constantly wiping your nose or something, um, itchy throat, okay, somebody could have did something with itching powder, um, some kind of spell work with itch, itching powder, this is not for everybody, that's just for some people. Um, so yeah, this is for all Scorpio placements, some rising wherever it's in your chart. Take what's for you, leave what's not. And we're going to see what's going on with you guys today. All right, so let's see. What do we have here for my Scorpios with this weird-ass energy? What is the weird-ass energy for my Scorpios? What is it? What is it? I do want to say that I picked up on something that says a secret society, um, secret nemesis. Um, it seems like, I'm feeling like this could be at work for a lot of you guys. Um, like, smiling and face backstabbing. Yeah, you have judgment with the sun card here. This person is soon, or it's, it's giving me leaked information. It's coming towards you. Yeah, with this three of wands. Told you, leaked information is coming towards you really soon knight of pentacles it's slow it's been slowly coming somebody's true colors is slowly about to show okay um could it be somebody that you've been um having some odds with at work here i feel like somebody not doing their share of work um somebody telling lies gossiping uh i don't know what it is if it's it's just a weird energy that you're feeling here. And I feel like it's taking place at the workplace for some reason. I'm also picking up. There's This could be a child. Not not necessarily a child. Somebody that's younger than you. Um, that likes to act like you're saving grace. And they really here for your downfall. Um, I feel like this person may try to guide you or tell you which direction that you need to go. Beware of this person, Scorpio. Beware of this person that surrounds you. I feel like they want you to be in their misery because misery loves company. They want you to be stuck in the same places that they're stuck in. Okay, with this Ten of Cups, this could be family. Or be, be aware of who you're inviting into your home, especially with these holidays coming up. So be... Be careful um, of who wants to come see you or the homes that you're going into because I do feel that um, it's a lot of fakeness going on here. It's a lot of fake. It's a lot of, it's, it's a lot of fake energy that I'm here that I'm feeling. Um, I'm feeling like you're going to catch a real big surprise within the next two weeks. And that's when you're gonna you're gonna see who the weird energy is coming from here, okay? Because you have some major arcana here. You have the judgment card and the sun card, so I feel like it, it's some truth that's coming to light. It's some shit that's about to fall, okay? Somebody that you thought had your back, that thought, or you thought that was on your side. Like I said, it's a secret society. Somebody's plotting against you. Um, yeah, somebody might invite you somewhere. Be careful of where you're being invited to. If you if you start feeling like you shouldn't go, trust your intuition. Trust the way you move. I'm feeling like somebody is being set up here. There's a plot here where somebody's trying to lure you in. And I feel like your intuition is trying to tell you, like, no, don't do it. Yeah, trust your intuition. Don't go there. Look at this. Somebody definitely is out to attack you. Definitely out to attack you. Mm. I don't know why, but I feel like <laughs> when you walk into this room or when you when this person walks into your house, um, mm, it, it gives me chaos 
or it's like when you walk into this building, um, mm -hmm. this could be your boss. This could be your boss as well. A coworker here, somebody who could be a little bit higher up than you. I feel like they get praised and they don't be doing shit at all. <laughs> they don't be doing their, their work. This is somebody who is lazy. Somebody who doesn't have any work ethic here when it comes to the job here. Um, I feel like they're trying to displace you. Or they're trying to get people... I don't know. I feel like they're just secretly complaining about you. Like a secret nemesis. Somebody feels threatened by you. And I feel like somebody's gonna, you're gonna run into somebody, this younger person or something, somebody that you have a problem with, like you're gonna run into them. And this person is supposed to be your saving grace, like they setting you up for a downfall. It's a lot of setup energy. Like say you, you cool with this one person and they know that you fell out with another person. They are like, hey, um, I'm, going, I'm going bowling tonight. You wanna go bowling? And you're like, yeah. And when you get to the place, or you like who all gonna be there? And then you're like, oh, you know, just the regular people, you know, so and so, so and so. And then when you get there, it's like they either all gang up on you and they be talking shit, or somebody be trying to flex and embarrass you, or they gonna have somebody there that um that you that you really don't see eye to eye with that that causes a lot of chaos and a lot of conflict. So it's just like somebody be doing shit on purpose when it comes to that type of stuff. So be mindful of where you're going. Um, and who you're inviting over. I just feel like somebody's telling telling business here. Yeah. You could be dealing with an Aquarius here. Somebody is spilling all of your information. Yeah. And I feel like there's a problem that's gonna that's gonna happen. And this is gonna be somebody that you expect to be your saving grace. And they're not coming in to save you. They just go it's just like your house is on fire and you see them with the water and they just start pouring the water out like mm. Oh dang, I can't help you type of thing. Or they show they they basically in your face showing you that you don't mean shit. Okay, Scorpio, like they in your face with this shit. And this could be somebody, this could be a family member or just like some people at work. Like something could come up at work and like instead of defending you, they just like, oh well, I'm not in it or I don't have nothing to do with it type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they, it's all because they, this person got like some weird ass emotions. They so ones. Mm. I feel like this is a. Somebody who thinks, somebody who likes to put themselves in a position higher than what they are. Okay. Somebody who wouldn't even help you if you needed to, if you needed help. And they be having help to offer you, but they don't want to help you. Just be mindful of those people where you be asking for assistance or be saying certain things. And they just like, oh, I can't help you. Just some weird ass vibes going on. Yeah, and I'm just starting to see like white feathers float. I don't even know where it's coming from. Mm-hmm. They tell you to isolate yourself and use your spiritual gifts. So some of you guys, you can you can tap into things. You can see um, who it is or your intuition is going to be able to tell you, okay? Mm. Manager, somebody, uh, a manager at work, okay? People ganging up against you. Feel the energy. Read the room, Scorpio. It's not that hard. Mm-hmm. Like I said, this is somebody younger than you. They feel like you owe them something. Yeah, somebody do whatever they want. This, so this could be somebody at work who just leave and go as they please. This could be somebody who is dealing with mental if issues. Somebody who has childhood trauma or needs therapy here that she could be running in. Or that's trying to get people to be up against you. Mm. Air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Yeah. Obsessive, possessive here. They're obsessive and very possessive. All right, let me get my closeout cards for my Scorpios. Let me get the closeout cards for Scorpios. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, 
It's, it's just letting you know that some kind of evil, unlucky situation is about to be near here. I told you about the flames and how they got water and they don't want to pour it off. So yeah, it's some heated arguments that are coming. You're going to be feeling very angry here. A lot of emotions. Okay. Um, yeah. Speculations here. You could be, like I said, speculating somebody's trying to do something, plot against you. Exactly what it is. Um, divorce yeah so this is somebody that you this is somebody that you could have been separated from or saying that you wasn't gonna deal with them no more if it is family they coming around to snake you during the holidays here um somebody trying to get you fired here somebody is plotting against you you have like a really really strong enemy and they they're, they're constantly shading you constantly shading you yep well, I mean, Scorpios, you got this secret society that's hating against you. You got a secret nemesis who's trying to get people to join their secret society to plot against you. Like, oh, don't tell them I'm going to be there. Are you still friends with them? Are you still talking to them? What they doing? What they got going on? Like, they're using somebody to get all the information so they can set you up. All right, so just be aware, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if this feels familiar, any, if the energy or anything, or it feels like it resonates, Go ahead and and just comment blocked, okay? Because blocked Ashe. I love you all day, Scorpios.